In this video, we're going to take a look at Simple Index's OLE enabled uh, capabilities, which allow it to process any document on your computer, not just scanned images. The sample configuration provided for this is under the Document Sorting folder. Once we load the demo, cut this out. So we click full demo, document sorting, and we want to read my documents. And this demo is designed to emulate a configuration where you're inputting files from your My Documents folder or some other uh, user documents folder that just has miscellaneous documents that um, may have some key index fields in common because they're either uh, customer documents or vendor documents or uh, something like that but um, they haven't been saved in any kind of standard file scheme uh, uh, in this example you have a very typical uh, my documents folder here with a bunch of Excel spreadsheets PowerPoint presentations Word documents uh, that all have file names that are pretty much meaningless to anyone else besides the person that created them, if they're even meaningful to them. And what this job is going to do is, is it extracts the text from each of these Office documents and uses that text to automatically um, grab these index fields for sales rep, customer, type, and date um, based on simple simple indexes, uh, OCR template matching, and dictionary matching algorithms. But since these are text-based files to begin with, uh, there's no OCR that has to take place. If the, all the words are spelled correctly in the document, and it just reads that document as text and parses it, so you can guarantee that the information you extract, unless it's a false positive, it's the correct information. So we see that was an Excel spreadsheet. This is a Word document. They all load um, and view the first page right in Simple Index. If you want to view the entire document, you can just double click there, and then that'll open it up in Microsoft Word. Or whatever the default viewer is. You, that you can also click this Open button. And we hit save index to save each value, move on to the next one. Here we have a PowerPoint presentation. And the way it's finding all this data is we have a list of our sales reps, we have a list of customers and document types, and then for the date it's looking for a number sequence that has, you know, month slash day slash year. And by searching for these patterns or these lists of values anywhere in the text of the document, it finds a match and then automatically classifies it. Because you can pretty much uh, guarantee that if you're dealing with documents like proposals or something like that, you're only going to have one of your customers and one of your sales reps in the in that document's text. And so by using these template matching algorithms, we're able to automatically grab that information and automatically file these file these under the appropriate indexes. And once we get to the end of the batch, we release it. And if we view the output folder now, we see that everything has been organized under these nice folders and file names. That all make logical sense now. It's standardized. You can find these documents no matter where they are on well, no matter who is looking for them. But the easiest way to find them is using the Search My Documents, which allows you 
to select from a drop down or type in partial matches and pull up a list of matching documents here. Once again, we can double click and pull it up in the default viewer for that application. Also, when you're dealing with Office documents or PDF files, you have the ability to do full text searching on any of the any of the text within those files.